Ah, the woman who knows everything that's going on in our backyard, outside, inside, hot, cold, uh, wet, dry, all that good stuff. <laughs> Diane Fisher Simmons joining us. We got it. It's the middle of July, and we ought to just be going to the beach and trying to stay cool. Stay but cool. but you got a lot going on yeah. inside and out that we can keep ourselves in. Which we need to get inside and get some relief from this sometimes, especially today. It's a good hot one. But what are we doing outside? So outside we have the May River Shrimp Festival going mm -hmm. on on Friday night tonight, in fact, and then we're going to have um, that's going on um, at at the Oyster Park factory. Right. And um, that's going to have the live entertainment, the wine bar, the craft beers, the arts and crafts, which I always love. But they t they're suggesting to you go to Barefoot Sports Mm -hmm. Facebook page to get more information about that. Okay. okay, and that's in Bluffton. Right. So that should be a good time. Right. And then of course the water festival is going on. Sure, We've been talking a on. lot about it. So it's through the weekend too. Um, lots of fun out there in Beaufort. Mm -hmm. um, but the Southeastern Summer Theater Institute. If you want to come inside. Yes, yes. come inside some <laughs> right now. Stay hydrated. Uh -huh. But um, but yes, they are opening Guys and Dolls. Okay. Actually, they just did Chorus Line right. and to rave reviews as yes. usual, I as saw you it. well know. I saw it. It's yes. It's was great. They always do such yep. a fantastic job. Can't recommend this company enough. But July 28th through August 6th for that. Yeah, so there's another weekend for that too, yes. which will be good. Yes, yeah. two weekends. And it's summertheaterinstitute.com for more information. And of course, they talk about the fact that they're not just a camp. They're really trying to raise up individuals that are aspiring to go into this professionally. Really good kids. You'll be amazed yeah. at the talent that's yes. out there. Yes, right. and they have a lot of great people working with them. Coastal Discovery Museum still has Jersey Boys going on. Jersey Boys is still at the Art Center through for August 20th. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yep, we got that for going inside too, but going back outside yes. coast. I wanted to make mention of Coastal Discovery Museum and all yes. the tours they have going on right now. Again, it, it'd be a hot one. You have to pick the right day for yeah. it. But but I mean, they have everything from salt marsh tours, beach discovery tours, health head history tours. They've got the marsh tacky horses. They've got butterfly habitat. They have so much going on out there all the time. Fabulous place to take folks coming in from out of town. It really uh, you is. You can really give them a feel for the island and, and it's natural beauty yes uh, yes in, in one shot yeah, yeah it's, okay. it's a beautiful organization and that's coastaldiscovery.org for yeah. more information on that okay, okay. movies uh, big movies. weekend you're wearing your purple or pink <laughs> rather I'm sorry you're, you're, you're pink for Barbie, for Barbie. <laughs> yeah there's, there's Barbie and then Oppenheimer which couldn't be more than 180 degrees for Barbie. They're not at all together, and yet they're being almost promoted they're together. They're smashing them together because no. they're being released by the same distribution company, okay. Barbenheimer, they're calling it, yeah. which is a great great marketing ploy. So I give them credit for that. I, I, I would like to check out probably both of those, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about Sound of Freedom. Okay. Yeah, we touched on that last time, but we kind of ran out of time, so I wanted to circle back to that. It's about... Um, uh, uh, just a boy getting rescued from uh, um, child trafficking. It's mm -hmm. a really important story, but it's about an FBI agent who actually resigns from his career. This is all based mm -hmm. on a true story. Tim mm -hmm. Ballard was the real life hero, true hero in this. And he leaves his job to continue this journey and to go in and he, after rescuing one boy, the sister is still out there. And that's what the movie kind of is all about, about this particular family. But the fact that this is getting some light shed on a very dark subject, I think is really important. It's a really well-made film. We've got some beautiful cin cinematography going on. Jim Caviezel is the lead and he's always solid. Just mm -hmm. a fantastic actor. And it's really doing well at the box office. It's uh, doing, surprising everybody. Oh it? my goodness. It So it beat out Indiana Anna Jones yeah. at opening weekend. Huh. It made back his entire budget opening weekend. Wow. And this is all from good. audience solicitation and participation with ticket sales. So they've really, again, a good marketing employee. They've come at it from a different direction with how they're trying to sell this movie. Mm -hmm. And it is working. Word of mouth is spreading. God's children are not for sale is the hashtag. And it is something that's really important. And we don't think of it, you know, we think of it as being a problem in Colombia or Cartagena, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it is a problem in the U.S. that's growing dramatically. I was just looking at SC, um, ETV and they have a whole thing on there on Palmetto Perspectives. If you want to get more information about our own state, okay. right in our own state, that problem has risen. Cases have risen over 400% in 2022. Yeah, yeah. All right. So good, good go stuff. see it. Good Sound stuff. of freedom. All right. Stay cool. Yeah, you too, Bob. <laughs> and we thank you for joining us for the WHHI Daily News. If you missed anything at all, we'll be back in 90 minutes. I'm Bob Stevens.